Welcome back, Nerd Squad. My name is Rory Destroya, and this is Top 10 Nerd. Spider Man Into the Spider Verse is set to premiere on December 14th. This is gonna be a bit of a different time for Spidey, especially considering the fact that instead of Peter Parker, our main character is gonna be Miles Morales' version of Spider Man. So, with this new spin on the friendly neighborhood, we've got some things to learn about the adventure he's about to embark on. So, let's take a look at the top 10 surprising facts about the Spider Verse. In the number 10 spot, what is a spider verse? Maybe we should cover that first, right? Well, in Marvel theory, there exists hundreds, thousands, millions of universes out there with different sets of Marvel characters. Quantum physics, yo, look it up. There could be millions of alternate versions of you out there too. While many of the different Spideys on these different planes of existence have similar spider bite stories, others still are vastly different. There is a Spidey out there to please everyone's tastes. Next in number 9, we got some of the major players. So who are some of the most important Spideys to exist out there? Well, we have our usual Peter Parker for sure, and about 20 billion variations of him. We've also got Miles Morales from the Ultimate Universe. There's Spider Gwen from Earth 65 who was bitten instead of Peter. We have Spider Girl in the form of Mayday Parker, Peter's daughter in the MC2 universe. There's even a Spider Pig, and that would be Spider Ham from an anthropomorphized Marvel Universe. And the list goes on. Coming in at number 8, the Spider Verse spans many titles. If you decide you want to pick up reading all the Spider Verse stories, well, you'll be happy to hear that you'll be kept occupied for quite some time. Though the Spider Verse event originated in 2014's The Amazing Spider Man, it also spanned into Spider Man 2099, Spider Woman, Spider Verse Team Up, and Scarlet Spiders. Have fun chasing everything down. In the number 7 spot is Morlin, the reason why all the Spideys had to come together to stop this guy from killing them off. Morlin is the main antagonist of the whole Spider-Verse event and he is out to feast on the life forces of the Spider-Men and women as spider totems, something we will get to later. He even managed to kill the Spider-Men at the 2005 The Other crossover. So whether he's going to be the main, currently unspecified villain of the new movie remains to be seen, but we have a pretty good feeling about saying yeah, most likely. Up in number 6, The Inheritors. Because one bad guy on his own isn't enough when it comes to this many Spider-Men, Morlin is backed up by his lovely family known as The Inheritors. The these guys are kinda like vampires with the way they drain their victims of life to feed on them. They've even fed off of gods, that's more than a little intimidating, and that included the Master Weaver, the entity in charge of weaving the web of life and destiny. Now why are you gonna go screw around with that, huh? Coming in at number 5, the movie isn't the first time the Spider-Verse has had a part on screen. The idea of the Spider-Verse was first introduced to the screen in the third season of the TV show Ultimate Spider-Man. DNA was gathered from spider heroes across six different universes, not nearly as many as existent in the whole of Spider-Verse, but a lot for a TV show. The Green Goblin uses all this DNA to turn himself into a Spider Goblin, causing all the Spideys to come together to defeat him. Funnily enough, a little bit more on Green Goblin later. Next up at number 4 is Spider Totems. The Spider Totems are behind all these different Spider heroes having their powers. Turns out that wasn't just a random spider bite, according to the Spider-Verse theory. Spider Totems originate from that web of life and destiny, and bestow their arachnid type gifts on chosen vessels to act as their avatars, making a connection between human and animal. So I'm not saying go out and let spiders bite you because they may be gods, but they may be. Up next in number 3, the animation. This might be something that is most highly anticipated with the upcoming film, so we thought we should touch on it for sure. According to producers Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, the animation style was picked specifically to make you feel like you just walked right into a comic book. CGI was combined with line and dot work and painting to make it feel like a living painting itself. From what we have seen so far, this is not your kid's average cartoon. In the number 2 spot are some notable confirmed appearances. While we know the story is going to feature Miles as the main character, some other characters have also been confirmed. Peter Parker fanatics rejoice because the man will make an appearance as Miles' mentor. And I do mean man as he has grown here and played by Jake Johnson. Kingpin, Prowler, and as I said I would mention, the Green Goblin have all been confirmed to appear and will feature stylizations from the Ultimate Universe. And of course we will get ourselves some Aunt May too. Just don't get too excited for sexy Aunt May to return here. And finally in the number 1 spot, the possibilities for the future. This is a simple but very exciting fact. With the introduction of the Spider-Verse in the upcoming film, the possibilities are endless for what could come next. 
We could get an entire set of Spider Gwen films. We could turn the focus onto Cindy Moon, who becomes Silk at the same time that Peter becomes Spidey. If it's possible for every Spider Man who exists to technically exist in this film, then Sony may never run out of ideas for upcoming films. So, those are the top 10 Spider Verse facts. Let me know in the comments section down below what you want facts on next. My name is Maria Destroya. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another nerdy list.